Hey all, XR student here. Today I'm going to attempt to make a stamp and create a t-shirt. So as you can see, I'm going through my sketchbook for a few designs that I came up with and I really like this poppy with the skull. So I'm going to try to make it. When I was younger in high school, we actually did stamp carving, but it wasn't with this specific material and I've been really, really wanting to do this. I've seen it on Pinterest and a few YouTubers and I'm like, man, I really wanna get into this and create my own little screen prints, t-shirt designs or whatever. And I splurged when I got a gift card and I actually got myself a stamp carving kit. So I'm carving out the little design that I made and I sketched on and going slow, but really just trying to learn how to use the tools. Once you get the hang of the tool, it's actually really fun to use and it's kind of like sliding on butter almost. It's tough to get those little pieces out, but the background is really easy. I really liked getting to learn and use the tool, trying to figure out the depth, the speed, the curves, what angle to go at. It was really fun, and I can't wait to try more in the future. I'm definitely not an expert at this, and I hope to learn in the future what I'm doing wrong and what I'm doing right. The little details are tough, and that's why I switched to a smaller, I don't know if it's called a blade or whatnot, but it's what makes the piece, and that's where you really have to take your time and go slow so you don't get rid of those little dots or eye holes. I'm not too sure where I got this inspiration from, maybe from seeing poppies online or just my love of skulls and combining flowers and skeletons, but I definitely want a tattoo design similar to this and I thought it'd be really cool to put it on a t-shirt. In fact, when I was using this tool in high school, our teacher just finished telling us how to use it and what to do, and his advice was make sure you don't cut at yourself. I don't want anyone going to the nurse. And immediately right after he said that, I cut myself with the tool and had to go to the nurse. But I was okay. It was fine. My second design is a bunch of petals. I don't know if I was very successful with cutting it out or the doodles I made, but I guess there's always next time. The point of having the petals is to put it on the sleeves of this t-shirt, and I wanted it to go all the way around and really complement the poppy petals in the main part of the shirt.
these petals were tough to do. I first started off with this small nib or blade, and then I switched to the bigger one and realized with pressing, I could figure out how to control the depth and create the design that I needed and wanted. Here I'm laying out my t-shirt and putting cardboard underneath the top portion so then it won't bleed through. I bought this specific, I guess it's ink, for screen printing and I'm using my roller and a piece of glass to get all that ink on there. And now I'm putting it on our stamp. Once pressed down, it's time to peel off. And unfortunately, this red really did not pop on the black shirt like I hoped it would. Maybe I should get a white or yellow or something next time. Since I was bummed with that, I decided to use a different ink that I got. It's not screen printing, but I decided to use it for, I guess, regular prints or something. And I applied it to my stamps. I decided, why not use it on my sketchbook and see how it turns out. And I loved it. The high contrast and just bold image. I decided to make a border with all of the petals that I had. I'm going in with darker colors at the bottom of the flower and then slowly fading into a red to really get that poppy, bold color. The yellow at the top is to create some visual interest and almost maybe look like the light shining through or something. I don't know. I just liked it. And of course yellow in the middle because that's how poppies look. I always love the look of woodblock prints and the imperfections that come along with it. So I don't really mind that there's lines everywhere, even though I know it's not like a perfect print, but I think it really gives it a handmade feel, a good texture, and just visually a beautiful look. I went back to the store and decided, let's try a different colored shirt and redo this whole t-shirt stamp design. I love the way the red popped out on this tan shirt. It really looked good. And the sleeves turned out well, even though I kind of gucked them up a little bit with too much ink. I think this was so much more successful than the black shirt. And I can't wait to wear it. Now that you've seen my ups and downs, let's look at those close-up shots. Thank you so much for watching. If you like my stuff, check out my other things. I'm having a sale on my Etsy very soon for the holiday season. I really, really appreciate you watching, and I hope you leave a comment. Thanks, bye.